हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कूल आईटी हेल्प दिस इज जुपिटर नोटबुक विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड ट्यूटोरियल सेशन पार्ट टू इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू क्रिएट ओपन एंड सेव जुपिटर नोटबुक दीज स्टेप्स आर वेरी इजी सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू इफ यू आर बिगनर यू मस्ट नो द बेसिक स्टेप्स ओके सो इफ यू हैव सीन द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन विच आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द जुपिटर नोटबुक इन्वॉर्मेंट सेटअप इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट वीडियो link given in the description of this tutorials and uh, you please watch that tutorial first and come back and continue with this tutorial so we are starting with this tutorial first open your visual studio code and if you guys working with the jupyter notebook and if you have uh, any folder dedicated folder that you have created you can simply open here in the explorer or we have the shortcut a uh, button to create a new folder then you can continue creating the new jupyter notebook here uh in this tutorial session already created i have already created one a folder which i have opened here you can see jupyter notebook in vs code and uh, then we are going to create a notebook the step is very simple go to the view click on the command palette here in the list you have to type a simple command like create new jupyter notebook uh, once you type the half of the text you will see the option click on it and soon you will see a uh, untitled file with the extension ipynb in the editor on the bottom side this is um, asking few examples of the intellicode and api for supporting your work environment so you can cancel it no worries on the bottom side you can see the jupiter server is uh is uh, ready for the use okay now i will tell you the few things and uh, in case uh you want to save it the process is simple this is simple uh, and uh, this will be treated as a file you can go to the file menu click the save as and you can save your file in the folder which you have opened here in the explorer on left hand side so i'm giving uh, this jupyter notebook file like this notebook 1 and this is saved you can see here if you have already created any jupyter notebook and you want to open so simply you have to visit that folder then you need to do the right click right here you can see this is the code cell once you click on it this is the selected state and you can write the python code now as i was telling you that if you have existing notebook and you want to open do the right click and click here the open and your jupyter notebook will be opened with this visual studio code editor now come back here at this code cell this is the code cell now we are ready to write something on the top we have the different controls like running the different code cells together if you want to introduce one more code cell you can press this option plus code okay now i'm just uh, uh writing two lines of code declaring the string and then trying to print this string and working with the jupyter notebook here in the visual studio code is really easy once you set up this environment definitely you will find the very comfortable environment for your work and this is the second statement print also if you are working with the python and you have just came in the visual studio first time so i would recommend to install this python uh extension in your visual studio code so you will get the on the fly uh intellisense linting and uh, the language formatting refactoring variable explorer and lot more support in the visual studio code so this is the basic code which i have written here in this code cell the same thing i am trying to copy in the second code cell this is the third code cell so i am sh showing you uh the interaction and the options available to work here in the jupyter notebook so to run it the code cell on the left side corner you have one uh, 
play button, click on it, then the code will be executed. So I have just done some uh, modification instead of putting the str in double code. So I'm giving it as a variable. So we will see the print statement, uh, the value stored with the string. In the same way, the second cell is executed. So you have the uh, execute button uh, right left on the corner left of the code cell to run it. Also you have a top uh, button which can execute all code cells at once, run all, just click on. If you want to clear the, uh, the output of these cells, so simply click here, clear output of the cells. So guys, this is the basic uh, thing to create and uh, create create the Jupyter Notebook and saving the Jupyter Notebook. And if you want to enable the uh, line number, so you can simply click here on these three dots and click here, show notebook line numbers. Uh, shortcut is Shift plus L, so you can press to bring the uh, line numbers in the code cell you can see this is the ipynb file whenever you create a jupyter notebook the extension will be ipynb and you have the option to save it with the control s or you can do it by creating the uh, file from the explorer as well so guys this is the simple introduction uh, on the Jupyter Notebook creation, open and running a cell and saving the Jupyter Notebooks. There are a lot more things and we will do more exploration on the uh, working with the cells in the next tutorial session. And I hope to see you there. And if you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now, Thanks for watching. Cool IT help.